वन ईयर मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम वर्सेज टू ईयर्स मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम दिस इज अ वेरी वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट आई गेट आस्ट ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डे और एवरी अदर डे इन माई इंस्टाग्राम डी एम एंड आई एम लाइक आई वॉन्ट मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सो होपफुली यू कैन मेक अ वॉइस अ डिसीजन आई हैव सीन स्टूडेंट्स मेक अ हॉरबल डिसीजन बाई चूजिंग इधर वन ईयर और टू ईयर बिकॉज दे डिड नॉट नो द डिफरेंस बिटवीन इट एंड हु इज इट रियली फॉर हु इज वन ईयर मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम फॉर हु इज वन टू ईयर्स मास्टर्स प्रोग्राम फॉर सो आई होप टू क्लियर दैट confusion and give you more clarity and hopefully you can make a wiser decision if you are new to this channel my name is yudi and i was also an international student just like you I did my masters in computer science pivoted my career into product management i've been in the tech industry for last 8 years and on this channel we talk about studying in united states and making a successful career in tech in united states so let's start with one minute answer so that way for people who have very short retention they can just watch this and then skip the video if you are someone who have work experience and have full confidence in your skills and ability and when i say work experience i mean more than 3 plus years of experience and you know your stuff well enough whatever field that you want to get into then one year might be your choice because you know why you want to do the masters you are very very focused you know your stuff together which means if you are coming for computer science or if you are coming for data science you have been doing this you have the skills you just need a pathway and this masters program will help you enhance that and then you will get into the market you are also someone who does not require internship because you are confident that you will get full time job in this market it might be you know challenging but regardless of that so 3 plus 4 plus years of experience are the people who i would say that this might be the course for you one year program one year masters program now of course there are lots and lots of caveat and nuances and that is why you should watch the complete video so you understand before you make that decision based on that one minute version of my answer okay so i was in ut dallas last week and then week before that i was in purdue and indiana university i met bunch of students and i i felt bad for them because lot of them did not know when the internship season starts when the hiring season starts and opt and all of that This is why I created the course Ultimate USA course which comes with my Ultimate Job Hunting course which is very very popular 1000 plus students have bought it and they love it you can see all the reviews etc I'm not pitching this to sell you something I'm genuinely telling you please make that investment because it's going to change your life and hopefully will be better for you but let's let's address this question about one year masters versus two year masters so again i want to be very very clear if you are working in tcs infosys wipro tech mahindra cognizant these are consulting firms and typically you also sit on the bench for a long long time so if you are someone who have the sitting on the bench experience for 2 3 years this might not be the course for you because you do not have the skills what it takes to like be a data scientist or data engineer or software engineer or a product manager you will struggle in this job market at least when i'm making this video this is 2024 market is extremely bad it will be bad in 2025 probably it will get better but we don't know that so if you are making this decision just purely because you have been sitting on the bench for like 3 years in you know one of these companies that i mentioned capgemini and all of that this might not be a wise decision to do one year masters program you might want to do two years masters program now again for one year masters program definitely the cost is going to be lower why not the tuition fees i do want to clarify that because a lot of people think that oh tuition fees is going to be cheaper it might be slightly cheaper but not drastically the, where the cost is going to be cheaper is going to be in the cost of living so typically it takes about 800 to 1200 depending on where you are living and which university and all of that average is $1000 per month so let's say if you were doing one year masters versus two years you will save that $12000 because of the cost of living again tuition fees might be same so you do want to check out if there is a drastic difference between tuition fees or not because i know there are lots and lots of videos and shots people are making over one year masters program cost effective i mean really 12000 is not really cost effective because most likely you will have on campus job and all of it so don't just blindly listen to the agents who are sitting in india because they have no idea what they are talking about and talking about the cost i know 
even if it is one year masters program or two years masters program you might be like okay yuri even if it is one year masters program or two years it is still going to cost me 50000 or 60000 or 70000 dollars i do not have that much money where the heck should i get the money from well that is where today's sponsor comes in empower again thank you so much for sponsoring this video they are amazing they they are willing to bet on you and your skills and your future what i mean by that they do not require co-signer they do not require collateral you do not have to have a property i mean if you have it great but you do you don't need it like you if you are someone who don't want to burden your parents you want to get the loan on yourself plus they have amazing part to success benefit which means if you are empowers student meaning if you take a loan from them they believe in end to end they are not just a lender they will help you not only giving you the loan but after that as well they have a 5 to 6 weeks of career boot camps i teach those career boot camp live you know we do we bring so many other students they also have different different tools available for your job hunting and career because they want to make sure you are successful in united states not just to give you the loan but also forever you are successful you are be able to make a career in united states so again i will put the link in the description you should absolutely check out i highly recommend here is another problem with one year masters program no internships again this is caveating out that there are some universities who allow internships and let you extend one year masters program but now i know there are plenty of universities who does not allow internship because it is a fast paced intense 9 months course or one one year course they are not going to let you do internship and technically most universities you all will not be eligible to even start an internship because you have to spend two semesters or one academic year so if you come in august 2025 you will be graduating in may 2026 technically that is when most people start their summer internship you will not be eligible and because you have only one year of masters program so you have to be extremely confident that you will be able to crack a full time job offer in that one year and you are okay with not having a us experience this is where you have to do introspection the agents and consultancies will not be able to tell you this i'm telling you this i am a hiring manager i have seen students who have done one year masters program i do not care i don't look at if they have one year masters program or two year masters program what i care when i'm looking at a resume have they done work which is related to what we want to hire for can they get the job done and if you can one year or two year does not matter so be extremely confident do the introspection and you should be aware of yes i think i can do this and i don't need internship i don't need co-ops then one year master program might be for you you also have to understand the coursework is going to be intense for one year master program by no means i'm trying to convince you that one year master program is bad i'm just making sure you are if you are someone who's choosing one year master program you are confident in your decision okay uh, another thing that i want to mention about one year master program is it is going to be intense especially if it's a quarter based system which means 3 months is one semester if it is like that it's going to be even more intense so again if you have to be if you're working for 4 years 5 years and you're planning to come back to education it is going to be a little harder transition but i am sure that you will be able to manage it it's just that you're not going to enjoy the university life and experiences now there will be partying and all of that but i just want to like you know throw out that that your focus is going to be completely you know getting the coursework done maybe find an on campus job and maybe find a full time job and if especially if you're doing an on campus job that means you have going to be extremely 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 busy so again do not just blindly listen to everybody know that this is going to be your life so for example you will be taking four courses four courses is roughly 30 hours per week of workload then if you are working 20 hours on campus that is 50 hours you have to have to have to get a job because that is why you're choosing one year masters program you will have to spend at least 10 to 15 hours on your job hunt journey so think about all of that time and be ready for that again i'm not trying to scare you just making sure that 
so you have the right expectation because a lot of time people come here without this expectation and then they are shocked that oh my god what did i do now here's another thing about one year masters program i know universities like sunny buffalo and duke university they do have some flexibility in extension the one year masters program or 13 months masters program whether you get an internship or you get a co-op you will be able to extend it further i like that now that gives you like okay if you do not want it and if you get full time job offer you can complete it within one year but if you don't then you have an option to extend it further by taking extra courses or maybe take a little less courses and extend one more semester because it borrows you time to find for a full time job so think about it that way i do want to tell you that there are people who have done one year masters program 9 months masters program and have gotten full time job completely okay and i will also tell you that there are some people who have come on our podcast who did not have any work experience and still did one year masters program and was able to get full time job even in 2023 which was the worst job market ever how is that possible they knew exactly what their focus was so again this is not to say that one year masters program is bad they knew why they were coming they knew exactly what skills they wanted to do they had their role career role that they wanted to get into very clear from the day one before even they landed they had their resume ready they were linkedin ready they were networking before they coming to united states they had their entire game plan ready yes it was probably stressful for them but they got it done so if you are also someone like that who are doing bachelors and watching this video planning to come without work experience and you have done things in your bachelors you have built products you you know exactly what goes into building a product if you are coming for product management or software engineer or data scientist you are skilled enough in your programming languages then maybe don't hesitate one year masters is good to go don't just choose this because it's the cost effective like 12 15000 is you know going to be your joining bonus so don't choose it because of that is what i'm trying to tell you all right now for those of you who are interested in two years masters program why you should be doing this one like i said if you are someone who have work experience as you know companies like cap gemini wipro tech mahindra and all of this again nothing against those companies i was in cap gemini i know the culture in and out i know there are a lot of people who sit on the bench and i know people who get on the projects as well and people get assigned on the project you work on very very tiny tiny things because again it's a consulting firms and all of that if you have not developed your skills do not assume that because you have 3 years of experience you will be able to get it this is when you should use 2 years because you have a little bit of advantage because you have 2 to 3 years of experience and you have in you can easily get internship well not easily but you will be able to get internship you will be able to get co-ops and now you have some experience in india you have some experience in united states and ideally using all of that you will get some full time job as well so strategically planning is something that you should be doing again that is why you should also buy my course so that you learn all of the smart things <laughs> like we have discussed that if you do one year masters program cost is going to be a slightly more but when i say slightly more it is not going to be more than 15 to 20000 dollars yes 15 to 20000 dollars is a lot of money i do understand that but is it tuition fees or is it just cost of living because if it is just the cost of living you might be working off on campus most likely because it's a two year master program you have a lot more time you will be working on campus maybe you have a ta job maybe you have an ra job maybe your tuition fees is waived out and all of that so it is possible that you were already covering your tuition fees so then technically there is not a big difference in your tuition fees it's just the cost of living which you are anyway able to pay off and i already said that two years master program will help you in getting internships in fact you will have let's say if you're coming for fall you will have you know summer internship you potentially can have if you do not get summer internship you can get fall co-op if you do not get fall co-op you can get spring co-op there is a lot more options for you versus one year masters program and again all of these summer internship can convert into extended into cpt and you can continue co-op as a co-op and all of that so there is a lot more options for you now let's talk about someone who does not have work experience Should, like two years master program is good for you because you do not have work experience you will get to build your skills especially 
if you are doing engineering in india again i i'm not talking about iits and iims and bits pilanis and all those people i'm talking about majority masses of engineering colleges and we know if you are especially coming for software engineer data and we do not do programming we write programming on our paper like we do not code again i don't know if this is changed or not but i'm guessing that's not we do not have hands on experiences you do not have any skills to at least in this market to prove me that you will get the work done so you will not get internship you will struggle to get full time job this is why two years masters program is much better choice for you than one year masters program again like i said if you are someone who is extra qualified who are like always involved who have participated in hackathons and done a lot of bunch of conferences and you are like extraordinary student and you are extremely confident one year might be your thing but most likely i would go towards two year if you do not have like if i tell you today that okay give me a dsa reverse tree program write it right now and if you are able to write it then one year might be your thing and if i tell you like okay give me a case study how will you build parking system you know build a system design for it if you are not able to do that just right now after watching this video that is a sign that you are not ready for internships and you are not ready for co-ops that is why you should come for two years so that way you have time to do all of that you have time to build the skills okay coursework wise also it will be less intensive again assuming that you don't have work experience which means you do not have like all those skills built up already that means the co even if the course feels intensive it is less courses that you are taking plus because it's spread out so much that means you will have time to cope up easily finally you will have fun time university experience life experiences you will have fun time doing campus events you will enjoy the university life again you will this will probably be the last degree last time that you will be going to university or education might as well you want to enjoy it this is the experience of a lifetime you will, the time is not going to come back ever i still wish that i enjoyed it even more i wish i would travel more i wish i would conferences more hackathons more as a student you get to do all of that but in one year you are going to be extremely focused in two years you will get to enjoy and do a lot more as a student and you want to experience all of that that's my guess if if you don't if you're not someone in this bucket then yeah go for one year all in all like i said so again to summarize and like i said in my one minute if you have work experience more than 3 4 years of work experience you are confident in that work experience that you have done stuff you have worked for a startup you have built like zero to one product and things like that you are confident in your bachelor's degree you did stuff in your bachelor's degree you're confident in your skills and ability one year might be your thing again cost effective maybe slightly but if you're someone who's not then maybe choose not maybe you should choose a two years masters program so there is your answer i hope this provides you a very 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 clear path let me know what questions you have on this topic or any other topic that you want before i end the video i do want to mention that these are the two videos that will be helpful also in your masters journey 100% guaranteed i'll see you guys in the next one until then keep smiling and keep hustling you got to hustle every single day